Hi, Kez. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Where are you from? I'm from Sydney, Australia. Okay. And uh, do they have a lot of kangaroos in Sydney? <laughs> Um, not in the city as such, but yeah, around the um, outskirts, yeah, for sure. And what was your primary reason for taking the training? I needed to learn how to protect myself in my investing over here in the US and um, to really make sure I understood how the mobile home business worked before I get into my first mobile home park deal, which I'm hoping is going to happen in the next two days. <laughs> um, but I found the course invaluable, to be honest. It's very practical. Um, I feel that I can take a lot more control of my investing career as a result. Um, I think the other training I've done was, was great as well, but um, I felt like I was relying on other people. Um, I think now I've got the skills to, to really give it a go. I'm still scared about a couple of things, but I think um, just getting out there and giving it a go um, is the way to do it. And knowing that Uncle Zally is going to be around for me to ask <laughs> some more questions to add to my 50,000 I've already asked. Um, to know there's that support there ongoing is actually extremely important. So I thank you for for agreeing to do that. So and you're going to regret it. <laughs> no, it's thank been you. great. Very, very worth the money. Wouldn't even consider not doing it again. Okay. So to speak. And now I really have to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I don't have to talk a lot. That's the problem. <laughs> hey Kim, how you doing? Great. Where are you from? South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, and why did you take this training? I've um, been investing in single family homes and wanted to start in the mobile home parks. Um, best training that I have ever taken. Um, it was real, writing contracts, submitting contracts, calling on our offers. Couldn't have gotten any better. Okay, thank you. I'm Tim Turner. I'm also from Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> taken other classes and other courses, spent a great deal of time and money, even had a mentor in single family homes and investing. What'd you pay for that mentor? Whew, we, we got it as a package deal and it was over 40000 Holy mackerel, you spent $40,000 yes. on seminars and training? Yes. And how do you feel this compared to what you spent on that? Uh, we got off really cheap here. We should have been the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was excellent. It was the best money we spent. What we have learned in the contracts that we've written and sent out, uh, I know we got great perspectives out there. It's just a matter of us now hitting the ground when we get back home and doing uh, the due dealings. So what are you looking to do? What's your strategy? Well, how are you going to use this in your particular circumstances? Well, since I don't know anything but hard labor, I'm going to continue that. But instead of busting my butt for a few thousand, I want to make a few hundred thousand in doing park owned turnaround parks that need totally turned around. Okay. So you're basically going to move to the mobile home parks you buy? Yes. Right? Fix them up? Fix them up and get them turned around and be all hands on. And then after you fix them up, turn them around and get great cash flow, you're going to? Look for another park and keep on going. Okay. And that's a great strategy. Kim, is there uh, anything that you want to add to what you said while the camera is not malfunctioning here? Um, I would highly recommend this to anybody um, with any doubts. I had doubts when I first thought about taking the class. I wouldn't look back. It, it was amazing. Best Thank you. training we've ever taken. Thank you. Kez, do you have anything that you would like to add now that you uh, thought about? Yeah, I think um, I'm a lot clearer on what I want to do um, strategy-wise and what I need to, to do to do it. Um, and I think um, this will be, I, I feel that this will be business to make money and I really do. I think compared to what I've done in the past, um, even on the calculations I've done, I know with the money I've got invested currently in the US, um, if I put it into mobile home parks, I'd be doing a lot better right now. Um, so I think this is a real springboard into, into the future. Of, um, did you learn about commercial property at all? Yes, did learn a little bit about commercial property um, in respect to uh, warehousing. Is that what you're yes. referring to? Buying warehouses. Um, I think that's an interesting concept to look at as well. I think once we've done the mobile home parks, other commercial investing will be quite easy to do. So I think this is opening up the realm of all sorts of possibility outside of 
uh, single family homes and duplexes and so forth and such forth and so on. So did you, did uh, Uncle Zali have a good sense of humor? Did he keep oh, you laughing yeah, and entertained? Oh, Uncle Zali is so yes. funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uncle Zali is so funny. And he tells a lot of stories. Um, <laughs> they're really good stories, actually. Good storyteller. Um, yeah. And I particularly liked Hector. Um, <laughs> I won't say anything else about that. But <laughs> no, it was, it, was, it was good. Nice, um, fun training as well as, um, you know, education. Great. Thank you. Sue, is there anything else that you want to add? Yes, I think that it was a very broad training. There were really specific skills, but skills that could be applied in any Did you say broad or board? Broad. Broad, <laughs> broad, okay. <laughs> that could be applied in many different situations. And I think I really understand about protecting myself now, as I never have before. Would you say that you were pretty shy and fearful when you walked in? I was pretty sh fearful. I don't know about the show, I think we will put it out. Okay. <laughs> and do you feel like uh, I'm you're... I'm much, much less fearful. Good. Good. And Matt? Oh, I'd highly recommend the training to anyone, uh, especially people who want to be uh, shown each of the steps that are required to go through uh, looking for a project, um, buying the project, and then even the ongoing management. Uh, Stu's got a great set of materials that will help you do that. Thank you, Matt. I've got something else to say, actually. That reminds me. Um, I think what was really good about the course, I'm being serious here, is the checklists. I'm not that I wasn't being serious before. <laughs> Let me start that again. again. Properly. Yes. <laughs> I've got something else to add, Uncle's Alley, if that's okay. Um, I found the checklist to be fantastic. I think that the fact that you're using your past experience and mistakes to create something that means we should avoid just about every issue that's going to come up, I think, is fantastic. And if that wasn't provided, seriously, we would probably spend two years making mistakes, losing money, um, and it's something practical you can take out, and I think it takes the fear thing away because it's like, okay, I know what I need to do as long as I do it, really I am protecting myself, and it's, you know, a lot of other training, you don't actually come out with that, you still got to find your own way, and I think that angle, it's kind of flipping it around, this is a great strategy, but here's what you need to do to avoid the pitfalls, and your stories of the issues that you've experienced um, really sort of hit home and why that's important. And that was probably one of the things that, even when I read your materials, your books and stuff, I found really impressive is that you're actually giving the, you know, the formula of success in those due diligence steps that, that you need to do. You know, I, I have one thing also not to interrupt, but the thing that I really like too about Uncle Zally is it was the only time after we've given somebody our money, and like I said, we spent $40,000 or other um, lectures and teachers and mentor we never once after we gave the money we had a set time you have one year to use this one year information to us and you have like two weeks maybe to email us or call us by our phone number it was all kept secret and private mm -hmm. and uncle Zali was the only one that said call me anytime because once I'm your uncle Zali I'll be your uncle for life and mm -hmm. he means that he's all sincere about that and that that speaks volume about the person yeah it really does. Nobody else wants to see you after they have your money. And after class is over, okay, good luck with everything. Don't want to hear from you anymore. Yeah. But that's not the case here. Mm -hmm. well, well, thank we appreciate you. That. Yeah. Thank you. Well, wave goodbye to everybody. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>